Welcome along to second round, qualifying round of the April Women's Champions League for 2020-2021. Glasgow City on the road up to Iceland for this tie against Valour. City after getting through on penalties against P Mount United up against the Icelandic side on the road. Moments away from kickoff, looking at the team lines. Well, key players of note for Valour, whose season was cut short with the pandemic. Some key players starting, including Elin Mita Jensen with 17 goals. Helen Eriks Dotti is another one to watch out, who had 13 this campaign and missed Edward Dotti with six goals. They are a side who are. Uh, Perennial side in the Champions League have reached the quarterfinals before. For Glasgow City, four changes from the game. It's P Mount United in the first round. It's a fairly stable squad, a lot of strength and depth in the squad, but it's Joe Love who's captain of the side once again, uh, with Jan Ross on the bench. Uh, the likes of Kirsty Howitt, Eva Colville looking to add goals as well as Nicole Robertson, second start after scoring on her debut at the weekend. Back it goes to Sigurdar Dotti, the Valour goalkeeper who punted long but City back with it Wine looking to take on one or two including Vaya Stottier comes to the far side and it's whipped across keeper flaps at it how it tried to get something on it oh it might come and it came all the way across the face and I don't think how, how it quite caught it the first time she tried to catch it the second time and then Robertson couldn't quite poke it towards goal. How it first time didn't get enough on it, then dragged it the second time towards goal, veered it towards goal. It was going off target, but if Robertson got a touch, it would have been 1 0 to Glasgow City. Lauder skipping away from Eric Stortier. Zanetta Wine with space out wide. And it comes towards Robertson, who did get a bit of a head onto it, but was. Struggling to get it on target and it goes by the post. And Haley Loder with a corner on the far side. Thought about going quickly, does go quickly, sneaks in towards Howitt, onside. Loder using that byline well. Now at distance, a long range dig which is just over the bar. And Joe Love with a trademark attempt. Good 30 yards out or so, and it wasn't a million miles away for sure on the far side, just inside the Valour half. Look at the thread back with Kerr looking up. Was she challenged? Well, she was challenged, but it was fierce as the referee. Still around with McLaughlin trying to float in for Robertson. Will it fall for Howitt? It does. Kirsty Howitt was it a handball. Colville with a good strike on the edge of the box, but taken there by. Sigurd D Dottier flapped up and I don't know if it hit off the hand of Eric Dottier rather than Eric Dottier but then it did come for Aoife Colville to try and curl on that far side end of the box uh, but fairly comfortably taken <laughs> the far side sort of trying to rattle down and they do get themselves a free kick as uh, Robertson was kind of upended there just dragged down a Scything one in from Lily Hillen's dot here uh, in position with the magic spray around it. Here in order to launch high. Oh, Clark got there, and there's a goal from Leanne Crichton. And five, just over five minutes into the second half, the breakthrough for Glasgow City. And Leanne Crichton. With the big goal in Reykjavik. A big fist pump to the subs in the stands as well. Cheers from the bench. Great ball in from Haley Lauder and it fell for is Jenna Clark who's up there highest. Well in fact she wasn't really actually up high. It just kind of fell down towards her head but she wasn't really looking towards goal. And then... Uh, Basically nodding it down for Leanne Crichton to lash it into the roof of the net. I tell you what, it's a great setup for Leanne Crichton, if meant or not, it's worked anyway for Glasgow City. They have the goal on the road. Quickly taking the throw towards the edge of the box, it's half cleared to 
Ellis Fair still here. It's not reclaimed, and that's a decent dig from distance, which has just pinged by the post. And Alexander was at full stretch there as McLaughlin tried to clear. It wasn't cleared. And the long range effort with the Beer Sotia taken, but that's been loose and in the way. And Wardour needs a box to have a dig. An arrowed effort, but didn't come down for Haley Lauder. It just came to her with uh, the loose pass. And towards Colville. But when it comes to Sigurd Dottier. Quickly resumes. It's a fulsome boot as well. Very long boot and little hack on looking for Jensen. Alexander comes and is swiped out by the attacker. Now I think the referee says play on here as Alexander's in Harris Dottier's are rolling around Alexander on the floor. Harris Dottier's ball and it's cleared away. The header came and it was cleared off the line by Joe Love as Alexander was rolling around in pain. He was taken out. The referee said play on. Haley Lauder and Mayan trying straight up to the referee. But the ball in. There's a glorious chance of you know, following Valour who had an open goal effectively. But Joe Love got back on the line to clear away. Referee just making sure things are very congested in the six yard area, very congested. The ball comes in near post and it's scrambled and in. It's over the line, it's 1 1. And Ellen Jensen getting lots of praise. Not sure who got the final touch. Alexander got fingertips but came off the post. And then eventually it was, it was eventually fumbled in over the line. Messy goal. And a set piece messy goal for Glasgow City concede, and they're going to have to go again here on their way side. Just over 10 to play. Fulton switching it to the far side with Kerr. Kerr racing into the box, comes back for Fulton, and Robertson tried to help him his way. It was a decent little try, and Robertson was working just in case it fell for it. Manny Fulton on a return to Iceland. It came to the edge of the box. And that is the full time whistle. Glasgow suddenly were 10 minutes away from the last 32, but they're going to have to do it the hard way, like they did in the first qualifying round. And it's going to be extra time. And we have 30 minutes more to come shortly. As Valer gets us going, they're going from right to left in this first period of extra time, 30 more minutes. And we'll see if we can find ourselves a winner. Glad so they did it the hard way in the first round, it's P Mount United. As Ellen Jensen lobs the ball over Clark and is racing in, and that's a good save at the near post from Alexander in the first 20 seconds of extra time. Just a, a little love over Clark on the, on the touchline and just waltz the near post, went for it. Deep now from Valor. Over the top here and now through. Big chance for Valor and Alexander comes. Long ball, which has caused problems and Jensen making the run. And Alexander out quick. Clark couldn't reach and thought about I think going round the forward 17 goals she's got but Alexander takes round the 32 the 9th and 10th 9th or 10th of uh, December and the 15th or 16th oh Glasgow City get there for the 10th season in a row McLaughlin on the far side for Foley. And to watch a sub in Zummers. Marshes to fire one across. Wade at the far post. He's taking a nick of the defender. It wasn't looking like it was going to head into the goal anyhow. 
but he did well to actually reach it because it was a firing ball across the six yard area and that will do full time whistle does go in the end and for Glasgow I think it's the second qualifying round in a row that they're going to have to do this via a penalty shootout in Reykjavik Leon Crichton then, penalty number one. Referee blows the whistle. It's a good penalty, Leon Crichton into the corner, into the right corner. Keeper went the wrong way, and it's a good start, Glasgow City. Side foot to perfection. It's Jonas Dottier then for Valour. It's saved by Alexander, big start to the shootout. Alexander with the save. It was a poor penalty. It wasn't particularly powerful. Down to Alexander's right. Comfortably done. Big start from Lee Alexander. And Glasgow City, they have the early advantage. It's Maddie Fulton next. Brilliant penalty, but before the whistle. So she'll have to do it again. The referee didn't blow her whistle. She'll go again, and this time it's saved. She went the other side. Our initial penalty was high into the roof to the left. This time she went the other way, low, and the keeper guessed it. Penalty number two then for Valour. And it's off the crossbar. And that's zero from two from Valour. It was high and never coming down to take a 2 0 lead. It's Joe Love. Oh, it's saved! It's a big outstretched hand. Joe Love went for power, kind of down the middle. And it almost paid off, but just that outstretched hand. Ellen Jensen next, who got stronger and stronger at the game. Their, their top goal scorer here. For Valour. Oh, it's in the corner. I thought Alexander was going to get fingertips onto it. But Valour have scored. In the shootout, it's 1-1 one, one after three penalties each. Oh, it's so close for Alexander. In that right corner from Jensen. Oh, it's very tucked away. It was the fingers with there. If you think of Fulton's, which was about that position, but it was saved. To put City back in front, Lauren Wade. It's into that same corner as the previous penalty. And the goalkeeper almost got there just like the Alexander did with the previous penalty. But it's in for 2-1. Tucked away nicely. Helen Eric Stottier next for Valour. Big kick this. For 2-2. Two, two. Oof, it's got a lot of power. It wasn't particularly high, but it was away from the fingertips of Alexander. And 2-2 two, two after four each. We're effectively now heading in towards sudden death now. Score here, and Valour need to score next. Miss here, and Valour could take it. Clear shine, big kick here. It's rolled smoothly down to that. Right corner, big cheer as well from Claire Shine. Pressure now on Valour. The advantage of going first. It's Hallard, Hallard's dot here now. Must score here for Valour. Must score here for Valour. Oh, it's a penalty which actually wasn't a great penalty, but it's slotted in, rolled in. Keeper went early. To the right of Alexander. 3-3. Three, three. Now officially it's sudden death, but we have been in that for at least one round of kicks anyway. Now Zanetta Wine. It's a short run up here, Zanetta Wine. It's well she slipped, but it's went in. That same kind of corner again, that right side. 
and pressure back on Valua. Didn't touch it with two feet, it was fine, just slipped at the end. You had a bit of a worry when she was placing the ball around for a few seconds. Alexander back in goal. Arna Eriks Dottier, the defender next. Another pressure one because again, Valur need to score this. It's Eriks Dottier, it's away! And for 10 seasons in a row, Glasgow City are into the knockout stage. The last 32 of the Champions League, she's done it again. Champions League shootouts, Glasgow City. Life, death and taxi, City get through in a shootout. And Lee Alexander again has done it. And Glasgow City again have done it in the hard way. It's hard for Arena Eriks Dottier. But for Glasgow City supporters, you'll be watching on probably from the comfort of your home, and not at a stadium, unfortunately. But there will be two legs, a last 32 tie again for Glasgow City in December in just a few short weeks' time. The penalty. And the big cheer as it whistled by. And the City players rushing down. They've done it again in a penalty shootout. They bet a team you'd see over 120 minutes. Valour had their moments. But so they couldn't quite get it done in 120. But they did beyond 120. In a shootout which is a bit different compared to the one against P-Mount. Which is a bit more of a nerve strewn affair. Particularly in the first three or four penalties from either side. But job done, and they are through. It all went back to Leanne Crichton scoring five minutes into the second half. But then a skirmash, which was eventually bundled over 10 minutes on time, took us to extra time, and then the shootout came after 120 minutes. And huge cheers from the, the coaching team and the players. They've done it again of Glasgow City. 1-1 the final score with Glasgow City progressing 4-3 on penalties. Last 32, here we come.